If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? You know, it's very important that we understand that the best way to grow opportunities here in the state of Florida for jobs is to look at the way that we tax and the way that we regulate businesses. And so I will be in strong favor of providing tax incentives to not only promote the businesses that we have here, but to encourage other businesses to come here within our state. Those tax incentives will also help our small businesses, which are the backbones of most economies, to continue to grow and to provide opportunities for jobs here in our community. So that's what I intend to do, is to provide for tax incentives, as well as to watch the regulations on our small businesses. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Florida's healthcare situation uh, is one that I believe needs to be addressed uh, a couple different ways, but one of the ones that I have focused on most is seniors in healthcare. Not only uh, do I want to make sure that there is proper access, but also that there's affordable access to our seniors here within our community. One of the ways of doing that is just an example is the telehealth program. That's a program through which uh, seniors can use their uh, devices in order to contact or to interact with their physicians. It keeps them from having to go into a physician's office. It keeps them from having to take the time away from the physician's practice, but they can get diagnoses, preliminary diagnoses for conditions or ails that they feel uh, so that they're not having to go out and waste that time of those monies on uh, having health care provided to them. That same program can also be provided to young families uh, for their children as well, and I think that that will help to address better access to and controlling the cost within our health care system. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Some of the biggest challenge with K-12 through is, um, is school choice. Today's society uh, dictates that we find alternative ways of educating our children. Classroom sizes are continuing to expand. And not only that, although the amount of money for each student has gone up, it still does not take care of the fact that we have students that are not graduating from, from high school or going through high school because they don't feel that the traditional, the traditional track, excuse me, is a proper track for them. And so what I would like to do is for our students is to provide more access, to give them more choices as to the schools that they attend. The legislature just recently uh, passed a bill where you can go to any school if there's room anywhere within the state of Florida, and I think that that's a great, great first step. But the other part of that also is that we have to look at virtual schools for those students who are on a non-traditional track, who may not necessarily go to college, but who can benefit from having vocational and technical training so that they too can have jobs and opportunities to provide for themselves and their families and, and become productive citizens within this state. Hello, my name is Greg Jackson, candidate for House District 45. If you want to learn more about me and my campaign, please go visit www.electgregjackson.com.